I'm Craig and welcome to IT and Gadget Solutions on YouTube and today I'll be going through how you can pair and use Bluetooth on your iMac and use it with a Windows laptop. Now as you know they're both entirely d different systems um, obviously it's an iMac using the Mac OS Catalina version um, this will all apply to all the systems in the family maybe the MacBook, MacBook Air, the tablets etc it's the same format on what we're gonna show I'm gonna show you today and how you can use the Bluetooth uh, to send files to a, a Windows laptop. I am running a Windows 10 year. Um, I'm running the 19 point version. I don't know the full version, but it's mostly updated and so is this one. So um, further ado, let's get into this video. Now for uh, you to get use the Bluetooth here, what we need to do is you need to access the Bluetooth software now the software um we'll be using here is bluetooth file exchange and the bluetooth settings to pair with the windows laptop just there um they work perfectly in sync because they're next door to each other but if they were further away you might see some lag in the bluetooth um over the year um it is advisable to be within range of your device so as, as as it would be a lot quicker it will be sent if it was a longer distance but it is worth having um all together so now there's one two ways you can get into bluetooth on your mac or macbook imac etc as you can see in the top here uh way wi-fi is your bluetooth icon now you can click on it and then it says bluetooth there um you've got your devices all connected and you can open bluetooth preferences um the other way we can do it is we can go through settings now settings is through your apple icon on the top left hand corner there and then go go system preferences and then you want to look for your Bluetooth settings. Now it's in this lower pane here, as you can see, you want to click Bluetooth. So it's the same thing if you were to go through your icon, it will take you direct to this rather than go through that way. It Both ways work either way. Uh, it's ideal. Um, so let me just go over the interface here. As you can see, our Bluetooth is already on because obviously, um, the mac os system uses bluetooth to connect your keyboard and your mouse obviously obviously because they are bluetooth communications enabled um it's ideal as well to have like a different device on your system whether you've got the um mouse trackpad that will be bluetooth as well um they're reasonably char charged um I barely, I use my lab iMac a lot and I've only just charged my mouse and my keyboard yesterday and it's got 100 percent it's I it's brilliant um once I only get charge on if it's less than 20 percent because I see some lag in the mouse itself so it's reasonable um obviously you would charge it through you one of your leads here that's connected to the back of your computer um obviously it's a normal standard lightning cable and it goes for both now obviously why know we are doing a bluetooth video here it's just ideal for you to know but you would um charge it in there and on the mouse is only underneath there so and they entirely use the bluetooth communications so but back to the interface like, like we were just discussing um it will show what you've named your device on the left hand side and you've got turn off bluetooth now it is not advisable to turn off 
because once you turn off your Bluetooth, it does give you a warning, it will disconnect your keyboard and your mouse. So then you can't use your um, your My Mac or MacBook. It is advisable to always have a second mouse. Luckily for me, because I got a Windows, all I have to do is again that's wireless, that's Bluetooth. Um, it's I got one of these adapters that goes into my little uh, USB port in my computer, so I can use that. So it's advisable not to turn them off. But that and then you got your devices in your main window here. Now you can, it gives you an option to show Bluetooth to menu bar. If you select this, it would show, it would show that icon there, this one here. Now so if it's to turn it off, it'll disappear and turn it on, then it'll come back. So yeah, um, so well, now we're gonna need to pair our lap, Windows laptop. Now, and you got advanced here, um, this is where uh, other settings that you can have your Bluetooth setup assistance to start up at startup if no keyboard is not detected. Now, it basically, if you use a keyboard and your computer doesn't detect one, you can, when you start your computer, uh, the Bluetooth setup system will open to connect the Bluetooth keyboard. Whether you haven't got one and you got someone, you can detect, you can add that to it. And it just goes about on your mouse and trackpad as well, and obviously you allow Bluetooth devices to wake this computer. Now you can have your one of your Bluetooth devices to wake up um, once your computer goes to sleep. So basically, it just wakes up the computer using the Bluetooth device that's connected, and you'll be able to wake up the computer itself. So yeah, that's pretty much it now. As you can see, it will continue to search for any devices that is, that is in range. Now, as you can see, it's already got my laptop, but I've, I've removed it from my Windows laptop. So if we just move this now for the purpose of this video and go remove, and basically what will happen is then it will just start scanning again for your Windows laptop. Now it does take. It will take time to come through again. So basically, just gotta wait for it until it wait comes through. If it doesn't, you can always go back and your arrow and go right again and just search for it up again. Now if it doesn't pick it up, you might have to go to Windows laptop. Yeah. Alright, so let's zoom in a bit more. And you go settings and down here and you go all settings and then you want to go here and this is what we're looking for we are looking for our bluetooth so if you just you can enter bluetooth and uh, there you go it's at the top there go and we connect it oh, see that? no there's no eye mark there as you can see so obviously again it still hasn't picked it up so what we can do on the windows lot one is we can manually down in the notification here you can turn the bluetooth on and off so click this one to turn it off and then back on and then eventually there you go the iMac is already picked it up for you now this is where the payment starts you want to click connect Ooh, sorry about the bit of colour here let me just focus a bit more that's better there you go and then eventually uh, come to your Windows laptop and it says add device. You've got to be quick about this because uh, otherwise you'll have a communication failure. Now it's asking to pair device. Craig's my Mac would like to pair. Allow. And you'll get your device saying connection succeeded. Now the pairing has been done for you now for both systems. Now they've 
added the d pairing information to your devices here and you'll be able to use files etc to send for between each device as you can see on the windows that dinging is telling you the device is ready to, and it'll be ready to use now for um uh for a demo, little demonstration i will send a bluetooth file over to my windows now for this to work you need you need to press command space open spotlight and go bluetooth and as you say bluetooth file exchange this is the software you can send your files via your devices no matter what it is and you could choose what devices you want to be sent over now I'll just choose, say, uh, I got to say, go pictures, and let's pick pick my logo that I have on my YouTube page here. If I go send, and as you can see now, sorry, bear with me. Um, you could send it to all your devices now. You got it picks up your keyboard already because these are all connected, etc. A Bluetooth speaker there. Um, and your laptop now it says not connected but they are paired don't get worried here because once you send the file over they will make the connection they'll establish with each other and send the file over so if you click laptop and send then eventually uh, when eventually what will happen is sometimes the device says the device does not have the necessary services now what happens is, is you need to go onto your windows laptop here and you need to open your like you're receiving bluetooth um software here to receive the actual um file so what we need to do here um, while we are in the Bluetooth pen, we need to op uh, just open this wider for you. And obviously, this is the on the very far right hand side. If I zoom in a little bit, bit more, you can see send or receive files via Bluetooth. Now, if we click that, and a window will come up as you can see there. Um, so basically, it says send file or receive files. Now, for this purpose we need to receive from the iMac that is because that's ready to be done so we go receive on you and then eventually is waiting for a connection now from uh, a bluetooth bluetooth device trans that transmits any files to computer that has a bluetooth enabled device so when you go back to your on your imac or macbook or whatever you send it from go send and as you can see straight away look it's been sent and then eventually on your windows you get another pane it's been sent and then eventually on your windows you get another pane saying bluetooth file transfer and it tells you where to set it gives you the option to, to wait to say save the file on your computer um as you, as you can change its location by default it will go into your do documents now it will it will be breaking down from your c drive to your users and to your name and your documents you can change this to sit see where you want it to save it to now if we go browse and say we want to save it to the desktop then we can so we just open up and browse for folders obviously you can have different folders here etc so we click desktop here at the very top and then go ok and make sure it's taking effect you're in this location bar and finish and that's it that's it really the file should be saved to the desktop and as you can see it is there and I'll and obviously it is my it is my logo I use for my YouTube page, IT and Gadget Solutions.
I'm Craig. I hope you uh, like this video. Yeah, um, it it's informative. But if you like to give me more comments on uh, on whatever you else you want to see on the YouTube page, I'm more um, be thrilled to do so. If you like this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications and like this video. Any more subscribers? So get in there, guys. Thank you. Bye.